something that we probably get asked more about than anything else. And, there's so, and that's about sonar, GPS, side view, down view, 360, uh, and all, all the different types of things that are available to us today. And, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you how I use it, and I'm gonna tell you about some new stuff that I'm going to try to learn this year, uh, along with the rest of us, because it's brand new. It's gonna be hitting the water for the first time this year, some, some things. And, uh, and I know Ish is a Lowrance guy, and I know if you have any specific questions about uh, that product, I'm sure Ish can handle that for you as well. But um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about, and, and I talked already when we were in a breakout session, about getting confidence in your sonar. Understanding what you're seeing and how to act on it. How many people see, been out there with their sonar and it, it's lit up with fish, but you can't make them bite? or you're seeing stuff and you just don't know what it is or what it means to you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to help you gain some confidence. If I, if I can do that in the next hour, I'll be real, real pleased with that and I'll, I'll tell you how I'd, I've done it. And I'm gonna tell, talk a lot about, because there's so many good brands out there. There's uh, Lowrance, there's Humminbird, Garmin's coming out with some fantastic new stuff. Uh, there's Raymarine, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of great sonar companies out there that are really jumping into the freshwater fishing market, making some brilliant electronic stuff for us to use. Um, I want to challenge you to, to use it, but not to get so caught up in it that it distracts you from your objective, which is what? Catching fish, right? That's what we want to do. We're, we're using this stuff to catch fish, and we want to make sure that the things that we're, we're, the time we're spending with it are designed to help us better understand how to catch fish. And, um, and then one of the best things to do is to, to gain confidence. And I wanna show you some things that I hope are gonna help you gain confidence in what you're seeing. The uh, fishing, the arches, seeing what's down there, it's tricky. We had a question, and I happened to write it up here about wave action in Lake Erie, it's a pretty neat deal. It's like you're out there, who's been out on the big water and you're going up two or three feet and your, your bottom of your sonar is like a, a wave action, it looks like down there. How do, you, how do you determine your depth? How do you figure out what's fish and what's not? But one of the, one of the simplest things you could do is look at your depth printout on the upper left or wherever you have your total depth printed out on your screen. And it's gonna jump back and forth on the wave heights. It'll be 22, 24, 22, 24, 22, 24. And when you have a drop off, it's simply gonna go down to 23, 25, or 25, 26. It's gonna, so I look at that number, and when you're in those heavy waves, and believe me, I've been out in 10 foot swells, and it is difficult to find when you're on the high spot, when you're on the low spot, and that's one of the best ways, one of the simplest ways I can do it. I look at that stuff, it can get real confusing when you're going up and down like that. I got some really neat stuff that I, that I saw at Lake Douglas this year, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this for my uh, sonar seminars next year, is I took some screenshots with my smartphone of what I was seeing on the water. And when I, when I was on big schools of fish, and when I wasn't, and what they look like when you're on feeding largemouth. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna deliver some of that for you guys next year in terms of smallmouth. I'm gonna get some great screen, real-time screenshots of what it looks like when you're catching fish, when you're not catching fish, when you're on bait, when you're on nothing. And uh, that's, some, that's some key stuff. I want, now GPS, I remember when I started fishing the first year, it's unbelievable. I think it was 1995. I can't believe it's almost 20 years since I fished my first Bassmaster uh, tournament. Is anybody under 20 years old in this room? <laughs> There's bunches of you guys. Man, am I old. You got, I was fishing tournaments before you guys were born. I can't believe I'm saying that. I still see myself as a 20 year old, I think. But when GPS first came out. Bash you folks, information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish shallow deep in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it folks. Keep learning, 